times of coaching to the YZ generation? Isn't that a good question? Well, first of all, it's incredibly needed today. Incredibly needed. Uh, because in fact, the uh, differentiation, left brain, right brain, is getting stronger. And the corpus callosum is getting narrower between people. Now, the narrowness of the corpus callosum, you think, oh, that means more, more ease in ideas crossing. But no, it's the other way around. 71% uh, of the corpus callosum keeps newness ideas away from sameness ideas. So the left brain tends to focus on sameness and on normal everyday practice. And it tends to focus on words, especially normal everyday words, the things you say in your internal dialogue. And that goes by, uh, you know, 500, I think it's uh, 5,000 times an hour. Incredible. So the left brain not only focuses on words, it focuses and connects to the uh, system, let's find our brain system here, that works with tonality. Uh, that's the old uh, emotional system. And when we're talking to ourselves, Tonality drives our stress system. Now, let me talk with you about stress for a Now, think about the old emotional system. This is owned by mammals for 50 million years. And it's 98% the same between us and mammals. Because uh, it's very habitual. Remember when we talked about the basement of the mind, the subconscious mind? We're talking about all those habits we built in a lifetime. And those habits include our internal dialogue, which we get as two years old. We learn to model mom and dad and we learn particularly when there's stress. Now, why do we do that? Safety. Little mammals watch carefully. You know, little bear watches mama bear. Mama bear grows. Climb a tree. Little bear has to be ready to do it immediately. That's the protection. And we are mammals. Our mammal brain operates exactly like that. Now, the difference is that we are taking in words and tone at the same time. Now, that old emotional system is present tense. In other words, it's associative. Work. Mammals live right now, right? No mammal lives in the future. They're not imagining what will I do next week. Never. So mammals are right here, right now, all the time. Associated. And if we've got internal dialogue that's connected to stresses right here, right now, we as a human beings start to run it. So some people connect stress to their office environment. They go to their office and they're running all sorts of stressful conversations that are the very same as what they got when they were two years old. Not safe here, can't work here. It's uh, I don't feel good here. Blah 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 blah. All negative. And these kinds of conversations raise the stress level a lot. So. 
In that way, we're very different from mammals. See, a mammal might have a conflict. Two young lions in the pride decide to fight, and then they're fighting, and one wins, and the other is annoyed, but it now knows its place in the pride. Stress goes down, and it lives in the present tense. Doesn't remember, doesn't go into that. Now, mammals have good memories, so if the other lion comes up and goes, oh, 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 he remembers, oh, 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 oh. better show deference here. And if your dog gets on the couch and you yell at it, it'll get off the couch and it remembers. But only when you come back into the room, it'll go back on the couch again because you're not there. And then suddenly when you're looking at it, it gets off the couch. So these kind of links are the way we work as well. But now we've got words. So we might start to talk to ourselves and we create a meta level, a chronological level. It's not where and when, you know, this happens, I feel bad. Now we describe what that means to us. We say, oh, what this means is that I'm not a confident person. Oh. Now, we've created another level of eternal dialogue that we believe. Do, do you understand? And now when the, the situation comes up again, boom, that one comes up. So we can go all the way up to the logical levels, creating disinformation about ourselves, misinformation. Because in fact, We've got an absolutely healthy brain that can change in about three weeks of practice. This is what everybody wants to know. We have neuroplasticity. And with three weeks of practice, we build brand new neuron connectors that overlay the old ones. Really important. And even though those old messages may be there, like me with parking. I mean, up it popped. Because the situation was a little similar. Boom, up it popped again. But we build, we build gradually, over. And the most valuable thing, see, how can we handle stress every day? There's a bunch of ways. One is overview coach position. That's why we work with, in coaching with something called the value-based self-image. Now, with young people, this is so important because they live in the stress zone a lot. They tie it to their telephone, and they carry their telephone everywhere. And they're checking all the different social media apps and they notice if they're right or if somebody disses them and everything is all in tiny little uh, two sentence sentences. So they're not really learning to think. It's all like dislike. It's evaluation, judgment, evaluation, judgment. All the way through. And this links people strongly to the left brain. And right now, young people have at least 2,000 touches on their telephone a day. In other words, it uses up their life. When they get a job, they're used to carrying the telephone here, putting it right down in front of the computer or whatever they're going to work on. And it is their life. And it manages their mind with more and more of this left brain attention. Because it's very procedural. We follow the procedures. And we're not in our open-ended questions asking questions. Well, what would be really valuable today to really put my attention on? So we're 
we're not opening up the right brain and creativity at all. And that corpus callosum uh, is getting narrower and narrower. Now, it changes with practice. So, Senna, that's the important thing. Uh, studies of people who meditate show that all sorts of areas of the brain start to grow neurons. Neurons are created in the, the central area of the brain here, but they're moved up to wherever they're being used. So, if you're using your attention for creativity, for mindfulness, for open-ended questions, for exploring your intention deeply, looking at futures, for choosing to uh, find important values, speak them and live them, your brain starts to change. And it doesn't take long. So nothing is permanent in the mind. We have incredible resources. And we can build them. Now this is a wonderful thing to know. When I was a young psychologist, we used to, I, I was taught in school that, you know, somebody was badly damaged, blah, 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 and they couldn't never. Now there are some uh, genuine uh, chemical-based and physiology-based damages that can happen to the brain. But that's not 99% of the people. And the only way we damage our brain is with the food we eat, with the uh, amount of exercise we allow ourselves, and with what we put our attention on. What we put our attention on makes all the difference. So, key ways to build your brain and to assist young people to build theirs. And I'm talking to teacher coaches here. Teach people overview attention. Now, that takes a little while to learn. That's why we use coaching over time. Because uh, something like the value based self image isn't natural for people. We're still mostly connected to this old emotional system. And we mostly associate into present tense experience right now. But the brain, you know, the majority of it is the cerebral cortex, not the emotional system. And we treat that often like a visitor. Oh, I just had this good idea. Some kind of vision is dropped That's your brain. Listening and looking and asking questions and getting valuable ideas that are then available to you. So we must move out of these habitual zones to think well. Now, there's the value-based self-image over you. There's also practical habits. So, if suppose you find yourself stressed, coaches know and you teach young people something simple called three deep breaths. So you can bring oxygen. And in three deep breaths, you can bring the stress level down. Because those conversations tend to go on and on and on and on. Have you noticed? And they bring the stress off and up and up and up. But with coach position and three deep breaths, you can begin to take charge of your emotional system and train young people to do the same. Now, the third thing, of course, is auditory. How you been learning that here? Changing your tonality, and you walk right out of the stress zone because it tends to speak to you in warrior tones. The brain is always saying, eh, You know, she didn't smile at me, she probably doesn't like me anymore. It's going on and on. You know what teenagers are like. Uh, so, uh, 
teach your class what you learn here. Turn it into a different tone. Listen to that after a while. Ah, she just like more. She probably doesn't want to come. So as soon as you shift it, you take charge. And you can shift it visually, auditorily, kinesthetically. And here's a nice one. You can teach young people this. Imagine that this is your emotional system. And it tends to grab control because it thinks it's stressed. See, the emotional system can always grab control when you're stressed. Because this amazing visual system only works when you're relaxed and alert. The whole emotional system is still connected to protection. So, I teach young people that this old emotional system is covered by the cerebral cortex. And occasionally, some of the trigger is going to have the roof come off. Krishna Prayakala. And the roof is coming off. And as soon as the roof comes off, it, it's as if we only are these old emotions. We don't know our resources. We don't know anything. You know what it's like when you get stressed. Boom. It's like this is standing alone. Some other part of the bicycle is saying, Oh, it's dangerous. This happened, that happened. And there's no connection to resources. So show young people, ah, put the roof back in the Three deep breaths. And then take those deep breaths with them as a coach. 